This is a super powerful 150 Newton meter motor by a company called CYC. And this is a regular full suspension mountain bike frame. In this video, I'm gonna convert a standard mountain bike into a super powered electric mountain bike. It's got a pretty chunky looking 420 watt hour, 52 volt battery and a load of regular mountain bike parts to be fitted onto the frame. The motor is super powerful. 150 Newton meters is far beyond anything I've ridden before and around one and a half thousand watts of peak power, but it's got a 250 watt street mode with 15.5 miles an hour limiter on it to keep it legal for UK trails. There's also a really neat app full of tuning modes, including a full race mode for off-road private land. Over the next videos on my channel, I'll be attempting to build an affordable electric mountain bike that's safe, high performance, fast, and fun to ride. See, I think e-bikes are one of the best things in the world to enjoy, but availability and pricing put many out of reach. <laughs> For around $900, plus the cost of a battery, this torque sensing motor from CYC could be a serious option. I'll be thoroughly testing the bike and I'll also be comparing it to some of the biggest e-bike brands in the world to see if a home enthusiast DIY build can really be a bike that can perform at the highest levels. This is my homebrew DIY electric mountain bike, the Black Hawk and here's how I did it. There are lots of pre-loved bicycles out there, hundreds of thousands, maybe more. Maybe you've got one sat in your shed or garage, ready to be given a new lease of life. I'd heard about the bolt-on motors, but I'd always dismissed them until recently. I found a UK company online called Motion E, and they were supplying some really cool, interesting stuff. So I got in touch, and they recommended me this CYC motor. It arrives as a complete package, everything in a single box, ready to be installed on your bike. Really neat. Here's the motor super impressed as to the size. I mean, they do call it the X1 Stealth, but to me, if I compare it to the other motors that are out on the market, it looks really, really small. I'm not massively knowledgeable on these DIY motor kits, but to me, it looks like a really nicely built piece of kit. They make different size bottom bracket adapters depending on the bike. And it also includes a neat little screen all the wiring, cables and accessories you need to fit it and you just scan a barcode on your phone to download the fitting instructions. The other thing needed is a battery. They even make their own or you can get one built for you by a specialist. But I got the CYC battery. 420 watt hours. I think it weighs about 3.2 kilos. It's just going to bolt into the triangle of the frame. What I thought was quite helpful was this little plate and this goes into the bottle holder of your bike. So it's got mounting screws here, mounting holes here, and uh, you can just screw it into the bottle holder of your mountain bike. That will sit on like that in the bike. And the frame, the donor bike I'm using, is actually uh, from Vitus. I got the Mythic frame, which is like a full suspension bike, but you can use like pretty much anything, like hardtail, um, full suspension bike that you might have in your shed. This is an extra large size frame, so I'm thinking that that battery will fit in there. Only one way to find out. Let's build an e-bike. First up, I built the bike as if it was just gonna be a regular pedal bike. And then after, I'm going to fit the motor and the battery. So I just wanted to show you this. This is a Works Components angle set. 
it reduces the head angle. And this one does it by 1.5 degrees, so it actually makes the bike slacker. These angle sets are especially good for some older bikes that have steeper head tube angles. I find that slacker head angles make descending way more stable, and I always aim for a head angle of around 64 degrees. I'm using a mix of old and new parts for the bike, but the gears and brakes are mostly entry-level spec, but they actually perform really well. Just a few more bits to do to complete the bike. And actually, I think it's starting to look pretty good. The motor just fits in, like the bottom bracket and the rear swing arm, they're so close on this bike. It was a close fit, but it went on fairly smooth. In fact, with some pretty basic tools, it's fairly straightforward to fit. After a short time, the motor was fit and our standard old school pedal bike was transformed into a brand new electric mountain bike. There she is. Finally, added the battery, gave it a weight check and the moment of truth, power on. And yes, we have power. All right, let's just have a quick, I'll put it into maximum mode. I'm gonna have a quick burn in my corridor. Oh yeah, it goes, I can feel it already. <laughs> that accelerates like nothing. I'm, I'm actually scared. I didn't think I could slow down. I've never felt anything like it. So let's take a look around the bike. Um, by the way, make sure you're subscribed because the next video will be an actual ride on the bike. And let me tell you, it rips.